Good morning, everybody. I did want to start off this video just by saying welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for being here and giving me a safe space to create. Today, I wanted to go through the Dysau reviews. Now, I didn't go through everything that I got just because I noticed that some of the face masks that I did were very similar to the other ones and it's the same opinion on them. And also, there was one drink that I did not end up doing just because when I opened it, like, it was just so gross and I could not go through with it. It was the green drink one. Um, I will be stopping at Dice Out again, so I'm hoping maybe it was just, like, dried out. Um, but I definitely hope you guys enjoy. And some of these clips are kind of all over the place just because I put them in the order that I filmed in. And there is also going to be a massive hair change right in the middle of this. So I did get my hair done for the wedding. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. So these tongs actually worked out very well. I really liked them. The only thing was is if you're using any type of heavy meats, they're kind of flimsy, but for anything else, they seem to work out just fine. And they're honestly really cute as well. So I do recommend these for smaller meals. Okay, so with how I bought all of these little like face masks and things like that, I decided that what we're gonna do is we are gonna try one thing at a time every time I do a self-care day. Happens to be a self-care day for me, so we're gonna go ahead and try these out first. And then these little nose strips. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a video of it on, how it works. I also got these lip masks because I wanna do a full self-care day. Wow, I look real busted without my makeup. Anyways, so I'm just gonna insert all of these every time into the review video and I'm gonna do maybe just one big review video you guys will already know by the time <laughs> by the time I post this so we're gonna go ahead and do this first so let's see here um I didn't want to put like face lotion on um I don't really use products like that but I got this molecular molecular I don't know. All of my beauty gurus out there, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But it pretty much just says to fill it up and then just wait for it to soak everything. Um, I'm probably going to do this while I'm in the bathtub as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this in there. Okay, that's weird. I don't like that. Let's put some more on. Do this over the sink. So it kind of just puffed up like a puff ball. So while that is soaking and getting everything together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try these piggy strips. You're gonna find out with me. Okay, good try. Um, now, I consistently clean my face. I clean my face once in the morning and once at night. I don't know if that's like a normal for people, but yeah. We're gonna go ahead and try this. Indeed, it is just pink. Okay, so it says you have to wet your nose because it will not apply on dry skin. Apply. Okay. Okay, I feel like this is a learning habit for both me and you. Okay, that's weird. So this is it on. Cute. 
cute. I feel like I just got a nose job. Um, I don't know how long I'm supposed to keep this on for. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and get my bath started. And then the next product that we are going to try is this little face mask thing with the macular water. So I will see you guys in 10 minutes. Okay, I also got these from Ross. Um, I'm gonna try these out too. These did not come from Daiso, but it is a Korean product. So let's go ahead and get it open. Oh God, oh no. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my back in the background. As I said, I am doing my self-care routine. Okay. I'm very weird with like consistencies of things, so. These taste gross. My lips do feel, they feel great. Um, it says to, you know, like rub the product in your face. So I'm just gonna go over with my jade roller. Um, I don't exactly know if this is a jade roller, like if this is the name of it or if because it's a different whatever stone this is, if it makes it different. But I'm just gonna get that all over. <laughs> Alrighty. It also says no need to wipe it off, so I'm just gonna massage it ow, into my skin. So now we're gonna do the little piggy nose strips. Um, these are only meant for your nose, so. Wow. Um, gross, but I don't know if you guys can see that, but literally, if I wish I could show you guys. Um, now I know that like right here, I have a lot of oil and then like specifically right here, I have an oil, a lot of oil. Um, like you can even, can you guys see that? That's kind of gross. Anyways, it did what it was supposed to do. Now my nose feels really good though. Really soft. I like it. I'm going to rate this a 8 out of 10 only because there's no pigs on it. It's literally just pink. I'm gonna rate these. I uh, feel like it did its job, so I'm just gonna rate it like a an eight out of ten too. This facial mask is for I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just a plain mask, like there's nothing in it, and then depending on what you like put in the little thing is what it's gonna help with. Now this milky milk milliker milk. milk, milk molecular oil is to like clean and tone your skin it is to you know like take off makeup remover or be a type of makeup remover and it's supposed to like refresh your skin um now it's good for your face eyes lips and it's for dry and sensitive skin which my t-zone is very oily but like my cheeks and everything else is very dry very sensitive so let's hope this works i'm gonna go ahead and take off my I'm also going to put up my hair and then put on a ear thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Put up my hair and put on
Okay, bare face, everything, nothing on it. Wear that lip thing. My mouth is like really soft, but let's go ahead and unravel this thing. I am doing this over the sink just because I don't want to get it dripping everywhere. This is what it looks like. Kind of looks like I skinned somebody alive, but. So we're just going to. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bath and then I will be back with a review so far. Nothing special about it. Um, I think it's really cool that you get all of these for a dollar and you can make it your own and essentially if you had a specific way that you like to do your face masks you could essentially put it into a sheet mask but let's see i will go ahead get my bath started and then i will um give you guys my review afterwards so far so good <laughs> okay so final face mask portion for this video I can say I did not really like these compressed face masks. Um, once they get dry, they start to like fall off your face. And I'm definitely one of those people who like to do these type of face masks in the bathtub. Um, and when I'm in the bathtub, I like to like read books and things like that. So I feel like I like to leave them on a lot longer than they're supposed to be on, if that makes sense. But it's like completely dry already. Like my face either sucked all of this up or it just dries really easily. And it's not like a real face mask. It's like cotton. Excuse my busted nail. But it's like cotton. So it's like, I don't know. And like normally what I have to do after these masks, I have to take my jade roller and I have to roll this stuff into my face. My face is like completely dry and super cold. Um, so there's my clip. <laughs> so this was probably like the lowest thing on the list for me today. If I had to pick a favorite out of today's, I think it would be this. Um, my blackheads are really deep and in ground, like into my nose. So like I can't pop them, but like that really did the trick. Um... I mean, my face feels really clean after having that face mask on. And I think the only reason why I would ever get it again is to have like my own, like to make it my own. My whole thing is, is I like to go for face masks that have like a use and I'm willing to pay that extra amount of money to have that use for the face mask itself instead of having to figure it out on my own. Um, I don't see myself rebuying, like rebuying it in any way. Like, yeah, it was really cool to have for a dollar and 50 cents. Um, but like, I also had to go out and like buy myself some stuff to put in it. Um, so like with that being said, I went, I don't think I'd go out and get it again unless I knew that I was going to be with somebody who needed like something for sensitive people to where I would have to make it myself. So, to round out the video, I think my favorite would be the nose strips, um, and then 
these lip things. I'm a very big person about taking care of my lip health and um, I'm very prone to cold sores and infantigo. So I am definitely a very big, like I have to keep my lips moisturized and things like that. So that is my review on those three products for today. I am going to put in the other face masks along after this and then um, we'll go from there. So there's my review. I give this an eight. I would give it a 10 out of 10 if it had pigs on it. I'll give this an eight because it tasted disgusting and didn't smell good. And I'm actually going to give these like a five. They kind of just felt like I was putting underwear on my face. So, alrighty, let's go on to the next portion. So I'm going to go ahead and try these candies that I got. Um, I was trying to find the app where you can like scan and it'll like pop up like the English on top, but I literally can't find it anywhere. So sucks to be me. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with these brown sugar candies. Now I am not a really big fan of like a lot of candies. Um, they don't smell very good, but they come in these cute little packages. I like them, I enjoy. I love cute packaging, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and try one of these. So at first glance, it has a really pretty brown color, kind of like bronze. Kind of reminds me of like that milk tea taste that you get when you get bulba. Now, I personally don't like bulba, but I want to see if I can like bite into it. And I want to see if I can like bite into it and see if I can. It has a really weird taste, um, that consistency. Not a fan, zero out of 10. Um, when it first started, it was like uh, maybe five out of 10, something that I could snack on if it was like my last resort of candy. Mm. No, kind of tastes like dirt. I don't like that. Um, I thought I was really going to actually like that, but anyways. Now I'm going to try this one. I don't know. <laughs> Athena, back up. Um, I don't know if there's like different ones. It shows two different colors, but this just says cola candy on it. Okay, cool. Mm. So it looks like there is two flavors. It's so cute. I like love packaging like this. I wish I could find candy that I actually like. Um, at the Japanese market that I go to, they have this like peach frappuccino candy and it's kind of like fizzy and I don't really like the consistency but like I'll eat it and it's like one of my more favorite ones but my fiance actually showed me um this thing called white rabbit and I like the green tea ones and I also like the regular ones it kind of tastes like Thai tea but I definitely want to keep trying different candies because I like I like these type of candies because I don't like to chew things I like to make them like go away slowly so, the first one is going to be this yellow one. This is what it looks like.
Okay. I do really enjoy this one so far. It's hard to chew through, but this one is like lemon. And I don't think that there's anything in the middle, so. I'm going to go ahead and spit this one out and try the other one. Okay, so my review on these soda candies, I really like those. Those are definitely going to go in my desk to just have on the side. I like those a lot. They remind me of the old bottle caps, but not as powdery. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this so much. Um, tomorrow morning, I am going to try one of the teas, either the shiitake mushroom or the green. Um, I'm very lenient about this one because my stomach is so sensitive with certain things that I don't know how I'm going to react, but I am going to try this one. Um, I just haven't picked which one I'm going to try first, so I guess we'll go ahead and see. So what this is right here is that mushroom tea that I bought. Um, I'm pretty much just prepping it and making sure that it's all mixed together. And as you can see at the end of this section of the video, I honestly did not like this. This would be a better like ramen broth over anything. It's not something that I could drink on like a daily basis and I just honestly could not finish it. This is the peach tea. Um, I am just prepping it again with my tea kettle and getting it all um, brewed up. Now, these um, packages that they have at Daisao are resealable, and I really like that because it does keep the tea a lot fresher than I thought it was going to be. And I really like their tea bags as well. It's not like the normal tea bags, they're little triangles. So, here I am prepping it. And then this is me just getting it all drank. I don't like to put a lot of sugar in my tea. If I do put sugar in my tea, then it's just like a little teaspoon. And as you can tell, I did really like this here. So it definitely tastes like peaches. Like the taste is very out there. Um, with other teas, I noticed that I don't really taste that, so that's what I enjoy a lot about it. Um, and it also smells really good. I enjoyed this. This was really good. It's not like sweet or anything. It just tastes like peaches. So the next face mask that I am going to try is this peach bubble mask. Um... Yeah, essentially it looks like you just rub it into your face. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just tear this top one open and get started. I can say that it's very creamy. Um, there's also not a lot of Um, I can tell you that I really like this 
snow. I can see it like bubbling. So that's cool. Oh, this is a really fast one. You don't leave it on. It's just like a moisturizer for your skin. Um, so after it bubbles up, it looks like you are supposed to wash it off with lukewarm water. So I can tell you that this feels super hydrating, um, feels really nice on the skin. It, the bubble factor is really cool. Um, the smell is amazing. I already said that though. Um, it does feel sticky, but you are supposed to wash it off. So, oh, that's really weird that you can see it all. So after you rub it in, you wash it off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, um, very red face afterwards. Um, huh. My face feels very moisturized, like as if I just put some serum on or just did some moisturizer, which I guess. It doesn't say it's moisturizer, so. Um, I really enjoyed this. I, this is definitely something that I would get more of. Um, if I do go back. So I give this a 15 out of 10. The fa the redness is already going away. I honestly really like this product and for $1.50, that's not bad at all. Let's go to the next one. This is the green tea that I got. I accidentally opened it because I thought I was recording previously. So I just wanted to show you guys how it looked on the inside. And this is the tea bag itself. This is like a green tea matcha mix. And in all honesty, I make my tea all of the same. I always just um, use my tea kettle. Now, as you can see in this next clip, I'm here doing my daily planner, getting my reflections out, and normally I take the time to drink some tea, just one cup of tea in the morning while I watch the sunrise. Now, I did thoroughly enjoy this tea, and it is honestly one of my favorite things that I bought, and I will be buying more. Now, I like my green tea very toasty, is how I like to describe it, and this like hit it on like the cue ball, essentially. Um, I did drink this cold later and I can say that I like it better cold than hot, but either way it was super good. So I very much appreciated this tea and it just made me want to go running back just for this tea, even though Dice Out was like a 45 minute drive almost. And green tea has so many good benefits, so I will be buying this in bulk next time I go. Um, so it says to rub it in 
like the other ones when it's done. Um, personally, I do not like the way this one felt. It The smell was super strong. Um, and it stayed wet for really a long amount of time. You're only supposed to leave it on for like 20, 30 minutes. And like my face is coated to where like I can't even rub it all the way in. Like I took a whole bath. And like I normally take really long baths. Um, I feel like this one would be better for like, I don't know, um, hydrating. But it's for awakening and I don't really like it. I would probably rate this my least favorite one so far. So there's that. So here's the final review. It's that ramen that I got that was supposed to be garlic and some other seasonings. I can say that this was a really good side dish. It didn't fill us up or anything, but it did, It was very bland is how I would say. So if you guys like to make your own types of sauces, like that's what I would recommend for this. But the noodles were perfect and they weren't like hard. They weren't like an uncomfortable consistency. So they were pretty good. Um, even my fiance said the same thing. So this next thing is going to be what it looked like cooked. And that'll be the end of our video. Have a great day.